it. You know, there are some very far left leaning influences in Australian education that need to be weeded out. I mean, we've got senior education executives whose life goal, it seems, is to be the indoctrination of children to ensure they reject awful capitalism, you know, the disease that actually creates jobs and especially colonialism, that time in history which transformed static cultures into productive civilizations. And of late, they reach these goals by cancelling history and tradition because the facts may not be perfect for their PC perfect society. The latest attempt at cancelling our educational history comes from another dreadfully woke activist, an academic who's calling for English to be scrapped from the curriculum. English. Melita Hogarth is a former Queensland school teacher and University of Melbourne senator, senior lecturer, who sees English as an act of assimilation. Really? So teaching Australians to speak the most commonly used language in the Western world is wrong? Calling it English, worse still? The English language has been evolving for 1,400 years. We've managed quite well with English and even the name English. It derives from the English, but we're supposed to be ashamed of it. Apart from providing us with easily taught communication, it's enabled us to hook up easily with you know, first world Western countries for trade, scientific, medical purposes, the rest of it. I had a chat about this BS today on my radio program with Federal Education Minister Alan Tudge. This promo proposal is coming from someone quite respected in educational circles. She went on to say that English was about maintaining power and privilege and asserting the besieged sovereignty of the colonial state. Oh. This is a woman who is in the education faculty of our number one ranked university. She's an assistant dean, no less, teaching our future teachers. And it's this sort of nonsense which she's espousing. Like, that's what makes me really cross, Chris, because it's not just about some silly idea. It's about the fact that she's training our future teachers. An assistant dean playing the victim card, which only divides people. That's what she's doing. It's also presuming that the word English was somehow adopted to describe the English language as some kind of conspiracy tactic to keep the colonials compliant. It's rubbish. But the alternative being pushed, what is it? Replace English with language art. Hogarth goes on to say she intends to disrupt and scrutinise the role subject English played, keep with me, in maintaining the status quo and asserting the besieged sovereignty of the colonial state. What does that even mean? At least the current education minister is on the side of common sense. It needs to be rejected, but it's deeply concerning that these types of views infect our universities and infect the training of our future teachers. That's what's most concerning about all of this, Chris. Not over your dead body as long as you're education minister, I hope. Absolutely not, Chris. Absolutely not. Well, but what chance do we really have, though, to uphold respect for what works, to further assimilate and create independent thought in our educational institutions when you've got these campaigns on the loose? Like, seriously, we've got to keep pushing back because woke activists now occupy key roles in society, and I've got to tell you, they're winning.